It's extremely frustrating. Um, you know, we're outraged. After News 2's cameras caught suspected thieves in the act, Recovery School District Superintendent Patrick Dobard wants the community to keep an eye out. We have to police this together. Um, it's not just about one entity or another um, trying to watch the building. It's about us as a community and just demanding that folks respect property, and we're not going to tolerate this. Weight room equipment, welding equipment, and football stadium bleachers all went missing. Now a Baton Rouge police officer will guard a Struma High School around the clock. Workers also place new locks and chains around the school's gates. We've got security cameras at the school, but what we've done since is beefed up. We have now, you know, just police presence that will constantly patrol the building. Um, we're going to continue to secure the building, and once we finish the summer cleanup for the facility, we'll have the building totally boarded up to, to try to prevent even more break-ins. The recovery school district says it wants to preserve the school because it plans to reopen the campus sometime in the future. Another thing we'll do is going to really reach out to the community and try to work on some type of community watch program where we as a community can keep an eye on our facility while we work towards just rebuilding a new school at the Struma site. The recovery school district says it will prosecute thieves to the fullest extent of the law. Troy Galton, WBRZ News 2.